All right, I've had um, several requests for people wanting to know how I go about doing my book illustration. Here's a, some examples of some of the books I've done. And as you can see, I've got drawings inside of them. Okay. The question is, how did I get the pictures draw them and then get them into the book. This little guy playing his saxophone. There's a flutist, a, a person playing a violin, but it's actually a cricket. Here's a mama playing the banjo. Here's the daddy cricket. He is playing the bass. A little girl playing the mandolin. And this, I drew this from Taylor Swift, a, a photo of Taylor Swift, who has very long legs, wears boots, curly hair, always has a white guitar. And any Taylor Swift fan would be able to recognize this cricket as being what Taylor Swift would look like if she was a cricket. bamboo fun and it also has a pen that goes with it and I can write with one end and I can erase with the other and it goes right into the computer and I can see it on the screen and then I go around the edges with a black um, marker, like a Sharpie, and then I color in using just various standard instruments of color, such as crayons or markers from the dollar store. Just take pictures of my drawing and then I, I down it takes a really really nice picture Put my little thumbnails down on the bottom of all my different Cricut that I drew I've got them loaded into Photoshop I'll just call up this is my little fiddle player um, the photo I took of it now I will just crop that down crop off all the the ragged edges and then I I pick the background that white whitish background and I delete it so now what I have is a Cricut that's just like a cutout if, if you were um, paper cutting you have a cutout cricket. I open up the pages I'm working on. This page has already got one cricket on it. That's my little flutist. You see all my layers over here? I have my background, I have my brown dirt layer, and then I have a layer that's got my flute player on it. I can move them around however I want to. 
and I can make them bigger or smaller. But I'm going to have a whole band of Cricut players here. So I'm going to go grab my, um, my little violinist that I just did, open her up, and move her onto that page. I can just drag her down and pop her onto that page. There she is. She's way too big. But I can make her smaller. So now I have another cricket. There we go. Now let's go to my Taylor Swift cricket. There she is. I'm going to cut out my Taylor Swift, Swift cricket down here onto the page. And then I will make her the right size. And see that I can rearrange however I want to these guys on this page. You know, this is a book opened up one page, page 19, page 20. I, I, I create them on a layout like that. But anyway, here's all my little crickets. I'm going to have to add them all in there. And then eventually I will put a background. Here's a background of um, leaves and stuff that I've already drawn in another a application that um, I can drag that background so it's back here behind all the crickets so you can't see it. I can also move it around so we got more of a background. And it's kind of distracting so I might make it lighter. Like I can take the opacity and, and make those that grass lighter. So you can't see it and the crickets stand out more. Angel.